Hello and welcome to some Commander Fun Times here on LRRMTG. We have four of us with you here today, myself and Serge. Hello! Joined, of course, by Ben and Hi. Cameron. Huh? And we decided to do a little head-to-head uh, -head battle with the four Commander decks from the latest trip to Innistrad. So the two from Midnight Hunt and then the two brand new ones from Crimson Val. These are unchanged, out of the box. In fact, I'll tell you, even for the ones from Midnight Hunt, we, we don't really know most of what's in these decks. We've just uh, cracked them open, sleeved them up, and, uh, and we're, we're here to fight. With cards. With yes. cards, yeah. <laughs> With cards. We're, sorry, yes. No, it would go very badly otherwise. Thanks to uh, Wizards of the Coast for um, uh, sending us the decks. Originally, of course, we had announced we were going to do this as part of the PPR, but then there was scheduling issues, and we realized that we shouldn't, broadcast this before the decks have actually been previewed. So now that you know what's in them, let's see them fight. What are we all playing? Well, I'm playing Red Black Vampires. I think it's Vampires. Yeah. I mean, the, the commander is a vampire. I don't actually know if it's a vampire deck, but anyway. I've got Strephon, Maurer Progenitor. Two black red for a 3-2 legendary vampire noble with flying. And at the beginning of my end step, create a blood token for each player who has lost life this turn. Ooh. But that's mine. And then whenever Strephon attacks, you may sacrifice two blood tokens. If you do, you may put a vampire card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Pardon? It gains indestructible until end of turn. <laughs> All right. What? So hopefully I have more ways to create blood tokens. There's several steps there. Right? Someone mm -hmm. has to lose life, then I make a blood token if, uh, if I have Strephon in play. And then it's fine. Don't worry about but, it. It'll be fine. But us attacking each other also makes us lose life. Yeah. It's, it's only my end step, though. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not oh, every end God. step. Do you have cards in yours that allow you to attack people on other people's well, no, turns? no, I just... That's I, pretty sick. I was worried. You know, sometimes it's symmetrical. That means it's busted. Fair I'm enough. I'm excited for the new super haste keyword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we've established kill Surge. Yeah. <laughs> what are you running, Surge? <laughs> uh, completely harmless. I'm running, uh, I believe it's pronounced Lenore Autumn Sovereign. This is a format of zero four, rough start, noble human for two, a green, and a white. But I have a coven ability. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. Then, if you control three or more creatures with different powers, draw a card. So not as busted, but seems like a powerful engine card. So the plus one plus one thing happens regardless whether you have Coven or not. Yes. So she's really good cool. at enabling Coven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Makes sense. All right. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So maybe my zero four isn't as bad as I thought. Okay, yeah. that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I dig yeah. it. When the moon hits your eye, like El there's Eldrazi inside. <laughs> that's Lenore. When Soren acts like a jerk, Tamio does all the work. That's Lenore. Oh no. <laughs> I had nothing prepared. Cameron, what are you? <laughs> what's, your, what's your commander? My commander is Wilhelt the Rot Cleaver. Ooh. Uh, Wilhelt is a zombie warrior who casts, who casts for two blue black and is a 3 3. His card reads Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decay, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token with decayed. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie. If you do, draw a card. Cool. I dig that a lot. Yeah. All so right. he brings back uh, premium zombies as clearance zombies. <laughs> and then can turn the clearance zombies into card draw. Yes. Love it. It's a good little engine. Yeah. Uh, finally, I've got a Millicent Restless Revenant. It is a 4-4 flyer for 5 white blue. Uh, this spell costs one less, though, for each spirit I control. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and whenever Millicent, Restless Revenant, or another non-token spirit I control dies or deals combat damage to a player, I make a 1-1 one, one flying spirit. Nice. What? I'm going to make wow. a lot of cool. ghosts, is yeah. so, I think, the idea. Basically, he's taking our blood and you're taking our soul. Yeah. And, you, and you're taking my body! And yeah. you take the body. Yeah. But I'm the poor human right here, just like looking around at all my natural predators. Well, well you've got all three of those things. Yeah. You, but maybe I should share, is that what we're saying here? But they're don't mine! Be, don't be greedy, Serge. Yeah. My blood, my body, and my spirit. Oh no. All the decks, of course, came with uh, these little uh, life counters, which is cool, and the extra thick uh, commanders, like they have started to do with, with the etched foil treatment, which I really like, and a swathful of tokens. And you can tell 
sort of the direction that your deck wants to go, depending on what tokens you get. I predict that your tokens are a lot of spirits. I have a lot of them, yeah. And yours is a lot of zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine, mine is a lot of blood. <laughs> Wait, hold on. A lot of blood. Mine is all spiders. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. You know, the other human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do humans love? Spiders. Spiders are just like double humans. Yeah, so no human right. ever. Maybe. No human's like, man, man, more limbs means more human. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a phobia of double humans, by the way. <laughs> Before we started rolling the cameras, we also rolled some dice, and Cameron won that, so he's going to start us off. Cameron, take it away. Let's play some Commander. All right, I'm going to draw a card. All right. I gotta remember that. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to play this choked estuary untapped, revealing an island. Mm. Cool. Cool island. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Writes down island. Okay. Forest, go. Check this out. The tremendous power of swamp go. Ooh, man, I love pre-cons specifically for that. Yeah. You, know, you don't get it as often with just the basic end go. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm a draw. And I'm going to play this Prairie Stream tapped. And say go. All right. I'm going to play this Swamp. <gasps> I wasn't and expecting that. Then, yeah. I know, right? I had money on Island. Uh, arcane Signet. Mm. Ooh, classic rock. Well, I don't think classic, I guess. New rock. <laughs> yeah. The new how, classic how rock. Many year, how many years ago was Arcane Signet printed first now? That's a good question, actually. It's been like oh. every pre-con set for the past forever. Right? Yeah. You know, I don't actually own one, which is really weird because they're everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident that every one of these pre-cons has an Arcane Signet, a Sol Ring, and a Command Tower. Because generally they just put those in every pre-con. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please go. I like, I like where you're going with this whole Arcane Signet thing. So, uh, Arcane Are you Signet. stealing my ta tag? With permission? M may I Arcane Signet? Resolves. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Force spike. <laughs> no. So I'm I'm gonna level with you. This hand had like two lands and some expensive spells, and it was entirely gonna come together based on some card draw. So let's let's do that. I'm gonna play a command tower, which is honestly a lucky draw, and then I'm going to cast the old favorite Knight's Whisper. So I'm gonna draw two cards and lose two life. So. We're on the board, team. Yeah, we yep. did it. All right, all right. Go to 38, and uh, I don't have to discard, do I? Did I just goof myself? I think so. Well, I super did. <laughs> <laughs> you're vampires. You like to discard cards, right? Yeah, maybe you're going to some sick reanimator tech. Do I? I guess. Oh, I mean that. Sick okay. madness tech? Discard World Gorger Dragon. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> Why is that in a pre <laughs> It's about time, really. It needed a reprint. I'm going to discard, I think this is a new card, actually. Crossway Troublemakers. It's a bunch of just like <laughs> ne'er-do-well vampires hanging out on the road. Attacking vampires, you control a death touch and lifelink. Whenever a vampire dies, you can pay two life if you do draw a card. It seems cool. It's also six mana. So that's, yeah, maybe, that's steep ass. maybe we'll come back to Crossway Troublemakers later. Anyway, go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I kept a two lander. Uh-oh. Uh, I still have a two lander. <laughs> uh, but it does have this. So I'm going to play an island. Uh, and then everybody's favorite, it's a soul ring. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. that's not a two lander. Yeah, well, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, depends on what you think of then the soul ring also into a commander sphere. Mm. Mm. So I hope I draw another land, but I at least still have mana. You're untapping <laughs> with five. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to say go, Cam. Island is land. Then I'm going to cast <gasps> Will Helt. The first commander is here. Oh. All right. I've just painted a giant target on my back. Wait. Back. Face. That's a commander pod everywhere. Let's go. Untap. Draw. Hey. Cam, I like your style. I'm going to cast my commander. Combat. Plus one, plus one counter. It's now a one five. Because, of course, I have the, at the beginning of combat ability, make it grow. Don't have coven. Pass the turn. So it's effectively a one five. It's a one five for always. <laughs> You could always make it a 1-5. Yes. Unless you play her second main. It's got point. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This deck has so many six drops. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's an excellent question. All right, I'm going to play a Swamp and tap for red and two to play a Scion of Opulence. So 3-1 Vampire Noble, and whenever it or another non-token vampire I control dies, create a treasure token. Also, I can pay one and sacrifice two artifacts 
exile the top card of my library, and I can play that card this turn. Oh, cool. Yeah. Seems good. It's got, you know, treasure or blood, technically, is an artifact. So, you know, there's lots of options there. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to untap and draw. All right. No <laughs> land, but, but we can still get there. All right. I'm going to go one and then two, three, four, five. So I guess four. Uh, X is going to be four on Occult Epiphany, which oh. I haven't seen this card before. Uh, draw X cards, then discard X cards. Create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token for each flying, with flying for each card type among cards discarded this way. Oh. So I'm going to draw four. Okay. Uh, all right. So I need to discard four, and I kind of want to get the value off of it. Uh, okay. I'm going to discard a Yobi who split the heavens for a creature. An Azorius Locket for an artifact, a Promise of Bunray for an enchantment, and this Plains. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so that's four. Uh, and I have Delirium, yeah. uh, which is sick. Uh, and so I'm going to make four 1-1 one, one Flying Spirit tokens and play the land for the turn, which is Moorland Haunt. Oh, nice. Yeah. Spirit, spirit classic. Yeah. Is that its first reprint? I would say so. I don't think. I mean, I I didn't play really in original original Innistrad. Yeah. So I, I don't haven't know. Seen it since then. I love it. I cannot say if it's been around more than that set. What a cool turn! Yeah. Pass yeah. to you, Cam. Good old blue white. Um. Uh. Uh. uh what? <laughs> <laughs> Good old blue white. Good old value. blue white. <laughs> yeah. I get to draw cards on my turn. Gleaming overseer. 1-4. Comes with a uh, zombie army token. Hell yeah, War of the Spark Staple. Yeah. Zombie tokens I control have Hexproof and Menace. Wait, that means you're Ooh. decayed zombies. <laughs> Hexproof and Menace. They do. Um, then I'm also going to cast Undead Augur. Oh, yes! Whenever Undead Augur or another zombie you controls, control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. Wow. That's some value. Um, Go. Untap. Untap. Untippity. Ooh, untapped card. That changes very little. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. I was like, ah, my plan for this turn won't change unless I draw exactly an untapped land. Draws an untapped land. Nothing will change. <laughs> I'm going to lead with this Path of Ancestry and enter play tapped. This is the one that whenever I use it for mana and it shares a creature type with my commander, I get to scry. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Neat. it's really handy. And then... I'm going to pay two and cast these uh, booties. Ooh, all They're right. They're the less good booties. They're still good booties. Still good booties. I mean, uh, they probably work with that outfit. Oh, God, yeah, you look fabulous. Mm. Uh, and then I'm going to cast a unpronounceable bondkin. This is a two-mana, two-one dog soldier. Apparently, I'm not human tribal. I mean, actually, you find whatever allies you can when you're surrounded by the undead. But it has outlast, so I've got this plus one, plus one synergy. And it says, each creature you control a plus one, plus one counter has first strike. Well, great news. Lenore has a gift for you, new friend. All right, so this is now a 1-5 with first strike and a 3-2 with first strike. And a pair of boots that nobody is wearing past the turn. All right, on your end step, I'm going to remind you it's pronounced Inoch. Inoch? Yeah. Uh, resolves. Okay, cool. Untapping. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on over here. <laughs> All right, this, this is fine. This will be a turn where I just set up to do stuff mm -hmm. on a later turn. So I'm going to pay two for a Charcoal Diamond, which enters tapped and taps for black. Mm. And then my land for the turn, I'm going to play a Rakdos Carnarium and return one of these swamps. Nice. So I've got, I'm getting there. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to those six drops eventually. That's, I, there is no way I'm attacking with this 3-1. <laughs> I don't need a treasure Look, token. Looks around, you're like, yeah. oh no. <laughs> I don't need a treasure token that badly. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Alrighty, I'm going to untap and draw this plains oh! the lands continue <laughs> never didn't have it's it it's going to be a block of just 20 lands on top of it. <laughs> no wait stop <laughs> it's enough slices all right <laughs> uh what am i doing let's go ahead and first play this midnight clock it's another mana rock and also does other things and then utilizing this brand new mana rock i'm going to drop a five drop who, it's a name, 
and I'm excited to introduce Timin, Youthful Geist, to everybody. Timin. Timin. Little Timin. Timin has partnered with Rhoda, Geist Avenger, uh, so I'm going to go grab that uh, from my deck, uh, and also is a 3-4 flyer, and at the beginning of each combat, tap up to one target creature. What? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Each combat. Each combat. Wow, Tiny Timon is real mad. Uh, I assume I need to uh, reveal our friend Rhoda here, so... Probably. Yeah, if there's a condition for a tutor, you gotta show it. I mean, I believe you, but... For the, for the viewers at home, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> definitely not just grabbing yeah. Geist of St. <laughs> I believe you, but Surge is super distrustful. <laughs> does that... Wait, does your deck have Geist of St. Traft? It does. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of spicy. He's a cool. All right, so Rhoda, Geist Avenger, is a 3 3 with vigilance, and whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, ah. if it isn't being declared as an attacker, put a 1 1 counter on him. I love her hair. Yeah. Yeah, she seems really cool. Definitely my favorite of the Mary Tyler Moore spin offs. <laughs> uh, that was a joke for my dad, who won't watch this because why would he watch magic content? <laughs> So we're going to go to combat, and I think I'm going to tap uh, your your dog hound man. My dog hound man? Uh, maybe opening the gates for Cameron a little. Mm. Uh, and then I don't actually want to attack. I mean, maybe I should. I'm going to attack with one <laughs> spirit <laughs> and keep this spirit wall going. <laughs> and the... Hoops is taking one here. Yeah. I'm going to attack with one! Such a bold move. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> if there's one thing spirits do, it's succumb to yeah. peer pressure. Yeah. Uh, so I tapped one of yours. Yeah, so yeah. one's going to grab, one's going to cap. All right. My spirit succumbs to peer pressure all the time. <laughs> On the daily. And that's going to be me. Go ahead, cap. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Undead Alchemist. If a zombie you control would deal damage, combat damage to a player, instead that player mills that many cards, whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from their library, exile that card and create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. What was the first part of that again? <laughs> if a zombie you control would deal combat damage to a player, instead that player mills that many cards. All right, instead. So it's you, great. Your zombies aren't ever going to deal damage. Perfect. No problem. Yeah. What was yeah, the no, second part then? <laughs> uh, whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from their library, exile that that card and create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Crap. That part seems bad. Yeah. Can you take that first part again? <laughs> <laughs> and those, now those 2-2s two don't even have decayed. No, they don't. These are regular okay. premium zombies. Does Will, Will Helt, that's his name? Yes. Is it non-token or just any zombie without decayed? Any zombie without decay. <laughs> this seems wow. Good. All right. Wow, um, I love it. So if combat's happening, I'm going to mm -hmm. tap down the Coven Witch. The Coven Witch? I'll have you know that's a noble. Oh, okay. Are you saying witches aren't noble? Uh, in this particular case, if you're going to tap down Lenore, at least have the correct title. Oh, uh, you can't even say her name right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for that reason, she's tapped. No! <laughs> I've opened the doors for you. We don't have brains, we need brains. Surge, experience the unbridled wrath of the zombie deck. Now, I do appreciate getting attacked here. But I do want to say, if you are going to put cards in people's graveyards, maybe the people who have graveyard synergies might be better targets. I'm just going to throw that one out there. Mm, why? Typical human playing the political game. So I'm happy to take four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you don't you don't take any damage. You just yeah. mill seven. Oh, you just mill seven. Okay, it's a replacement effect. Uh, land, land, spirit. Ooh, Wait, a spirit? Dearly departed. Oh man. One zombie. Uh, another creature. Another creature. Three. Land. Another creature? Oh my god. I have a Sumberwald Sage in this deck? Four zombies. Yeah, I hit lands and or creatures. Amazing. That's statistically unlikely. <laughs> Gross. So the, so the creatures get exiled, but the lands go to your bin, is that correct? Exile that card and create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Four zombies. Brain, br brain, brain, brain. <laughs> Brain. I'm glad we can get the arena sound effects in real life now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, when they die, they're all going to do that animation. It's going to take oh, forever. God, God, God. Right. No one wrath, or we'll be here for eight years. <laughs> Your move, Surge. So, end step, you do have the option to sack one to draw I do. a card, right? You know what? I think I might actually sack the zombie army. Mm. Um, 
which will come back as a decayed zombie. On the back of the same card, actually. Huh! Ooh. Um, and then I draw a card and lose a life. You I just draw a card. You just draw a card? Wait, what about the auger? Does the auger count for any zombie? Do you just draw two there? Or another zombie you control dies. You draw a card and I lose a life. There we go. There's the All life. right. All right. Dude, your deck is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a real rough next turn. Go. All right. Untap. 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 Draw. Uh, so there's one power, two power, and three power creatures on the board. That's it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, four. This is four. And there's a four drop? A hey, uh, Graham? Yeah. This is getting a little scary. Uh-huh. How about you and I work together here, and I'm going to cast this uh, Celestial Judgment. So for each different power among creatures on the battlefield, choose a creature with that power. Oh, power. Right, mine's yeah. three. Yeah, my, 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 yeah, I'm okay. not living through this. All the nice things I said, Graham, I'm sorry, I take yeah. back. Okay, so this is one. Cameron, you can keep the two drop decay creature. Uh, three is the Bondkin, and the four for that, and then all other creatures are destroyed. All right. Wow. So, uh, whenever a zombie I control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token with decayed. So that's currently seven. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, whenever zombie auger or another zombie I control dies, I draw a card and lose one life. So that is, um, seven. Seven. No, okay, yes. I draw seven, make seven decayed zombies, and lose seven life. And I get a treasure. <laughs> I got a rock. That went really well for Cameron. Yeah. Considering. Five, six, seven. Um, I gotta level with you, Serge. I don't know if I've been in a game of Commander where your wraths have ever worked out in a good way. One, <laughs> this is fine. two, three, four, five, six... Seven. You finished dunking on Surge and Cam still had four cards to draw. <laughs> uh, let's go to the plus one plus one phase. This is a two six. Yeah. Ben, I attack you back. That's fair. All right, take two commander damage. Ow. Well, now I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but let's find out together. I'll replay that swamp that I played. And I totally forgot, I'm supposed to be keeping uh, hour counters on each upkeep for the each? midnight clock. Yeah. Right, each. So we're at three. All right, cool. Uh, now, I think that having just experienced a Wrath, it's probably a reasonably safe time <laughs> to bring out my commander, I hope. So we'll get Strephon out here. So on my end step, I make a blood token for each player who's lost life this turn, which of course will be nobody. And then when he attacks, I can sacrifice two blood tokens. I have none. So nothing's really happening with Strephon. Strephon? Strephon? Innistrad's hottest club is uh, passing the turn, I think, is what's going on. That's, that, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to play Strephon and hope he survives the, the, the do, cycle. Do we all need to start laughing like, like this? <laughs> it has everything. Ghosts, ghouls, a guy who board wipes the board and makes more ghouls afterwards than were previously there before. All right, I'm going to untap, and on my upkeep, we're at hour four on the midnight clock. Wow, it's really... Just running along there. I definitely need the card draw because I'm down to three. Oh. The problem with that board wipe is my commander was ready to go, but now he's back to being seven. Mana. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm going to go with Hallowed Spirit Keeper. Nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Which uh, will, when it dies, I make X11 white spirit creature tokens with flying, where X is the number of creatures in my graveyard. Currently, that is two. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll play Rhoda, Geist Avenger, to avenge y young Timon, who, who died. Rhoda is a 3-3 three, three with Vigilance, and whenever an opponent, a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, they get a 1-1 one, one counter. All right. Uh, and I'll pass the turn to you, zombie man. All right. Draw a card. <laughs> How many cards do you have in hand right now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> thirteen with sunken hollow. All right. Um, Better empty that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to empty my hollow. <laughs> you best believe. Um, you know, let's live large. Ruthless death fang. Four, four, flying dragon. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Oh my god! With all the decayed ones. I got bad news about your commander, Graham. 
Oh. I got bad news about all of our commanders. Oh, dear. Is Decay to Sacrifice thing? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. oh, my God. What is this deck? Hey, Cam. Oh. Yeah? I will 100% take all of those zombies to the face. But you want to mill things. I sure do. Wait, it doesn't mill because the blue one is in there, so it exiles the cards instead, doesn't it? Too late, he said no, so. No, wait, hold on! <laughs> I regret everything! All right, so there's 14 damage of zombies coming at no, you, No, there's uh, 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 8, 16 damage. Oh, God. S mill 16 cards, please. Now, now time out. <laughs> <laughs> I may have woefully misread a magic card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, okay. <laughs> I'm going to block two of them. <laughs> I guess actually there's no way that my spirits are going to survive after because of all the individual sacrifice triggers. So yeah, I'll block two. Mm -hmm. And how much is going through? 12. Sick. All right. <laughs> Mill 12. All right, so Hallowed Spirit Keeper is going to die. So there's three creatures in my bin. So I'm going to make three spirits. Don't get used to the world of the living, pals. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to mill 12? I believe so. All right, creature. Oh, good. It was one of my creature lords. Uh, land. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you get two zombies. Wow. Oh. That was shocking, actually. Statistically improbable. All right. Okay. Well. well, I get two zombies. No damage is dealt. Um, and then I sacrifice six zombies. Um, <sighs> six ruthless death fang triggers. Yeah. Uh, four and two. That's fair. Strefan lives. <laughs> I've, I've been board wiped twice. <laughs> and the turn cycle hasn't even gotten around. I need to discard. Uh, Shocking. <laughs> no kidding. I discard four lands and this Spark Reaper. And I will never make another land drop in this game. <laughs> uh, go. Untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Hey, Ben. Please. <laughs> I've already lost so much. No, no, no. Exactly, Ben. <gasps> so... You've been losing so many things. You're the perfect target. For, I feel like this is going to not go well. For the curse of clinging webs. Enchant player, whenever a non-token creature enchanted player controls dies, exile it, and then I get a spider. Your stuff keeps dying. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I love that like your stuff keeps dying. So to make it better, the next time all your stuff dies, I, I also get spiders. Look, I'm just using the data from the board state. Is that just like pulling the mask off the spirit and there's a spider inside being like, oh no, I, my nefarious scheme. Let's see who this ghost really is. Ah! <laughs> put the mask back on. <laughs> I pass. You put the mask back on and there's just a voice from inside saying, thank you, it was cold. <laughs> All right, draw. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven mana, I guess, if I really want it. So, here's what I'm going to do. Surge. Hi! You're at 40 still. So I would like to attack you with Strephon. You know what? That's fair. Awesome. Please take three commander damage. Ow. Now, I can play the Bloodlord of Vazgoth. It's a 3-3 flyer, but with Bloodthirst 3. So if an opponent oh. was dealt damage this turn, it enters with three plus and plus one counters on it. And it has flying, and whenever you cast a vampire creature spell, it gains Bloodthirst 3. Oh! Chaining Bloodthirst. Everyone's thirsty for blood. I love that jingle. <laughs> you remember, remember that blood jingle from when you were a kid? You're like, oh yeah, blood, right, cool. I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry, which seems in keeping for a vampire deck, though you also had it. Maybe all the decks have Path of Ancestry now. I don't know. But that is going to be the end of my turn, meaning... Strafan says I get one blood token because one player has lost life this turn. So I get some blood. We'll put the blood over here. That's actually really pretty. It's like, super pretty. Yeah, look at the art and the yeah. color saturation. Love it. All right, Ben, go ahead. Okay, the clock is at eight. What happens when the clock 
strikes 12. I just get a hand of seven. Do you oh, cool. wheel or do you just draw seven? Kind of wheel. You shuffle your hand in. Oh, okay. And your, your, your hand and your graveyard. Oh, nice. Oh. You have a thick graveyard going on at the moment. Yeah, so I get some things back, which is pretty cool. I'm going to play Reconnaissance Mission, uh, which says uh, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. Nice. We're going to get back in this. Uh, and pass. Okay. Um, Graham, does yeah. uh, uh, Blood Lord of Asgoth fly? Yes. Okay. Currently a 6-6? Six, six? Mm-hmm. Oofa doofa. Quite. I'm going to bring back Wilt Help the Rot Cleaver. All right. Undead Alchemist at Surge, and then two zombies at Ben. I have effects. Swords to Plowshare on your large zombie that was doing the graveyard shenanigans. Oh man. You do gain life equal to power. Oh, okay. So I get four life. And because that exiles, you don't get a decayed zombie. Either. I do not. Cool, because that... I don't want you to be able to sacrifice things because that big, horrible dragon is really scary. Right. There were two things to get rid of. I picked the the clear and present danger. Fair yeah. enough. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm actually super cool with four <laughs> life instead of four cards yeah. going into my bin. <laughs> oh, all I wanted to do was play. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll sacrifice one of these zombies. Wait, you, you still get to sacrifice? At yeah, will tell. Oh, on my no. end step. Uh, <laughs> And then I need to discard two cards. I'm going to discard this Midnight Reaper Occupa. and this uh, eh, Stitcher Garolf. Who's sacrificing from the Ruthless Death... death what is it called again? Ruthless Death Fang. Who's that would be you, Graham. Cool. Bye, Strafan. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it didn't get Wrath. Yeah? Yeah. It's, a, it, only, <laughs> it's only you because it's target opponent. As opposed Wait, to... that means you don't see us as opponents? Oh. I mean, <laughs> well, the sapience of zombies is really up in the air. Maybe I just don't see you as anything at all. Anyway, your turn. Dad? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Huh. I want a land. Yay! I cast an uh, Custody Soulbinder. It's a four mana zero zero, but it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counter, or X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. Oh, nice. Ooh. Thank you, Cameron and Graham. Yeah. So this is a five five, and it has an activated ability. For two and a white, I can uh, remove it to remove a plus one plus one counter to make a spirit. Also, I'm going to do a little bit of the old cheaty here and use Path of Ancestry instead, so I can get a scry, because it's a human like my commander. That's reasonable. You go on the bottom? Yes, you go on the bottom. Pass. Untap and draw. I'm going to play a land for the turn. And I'm going to move to combat. So you have a flyer, but it's the 4-4 that sacrifices yes. stuff. Okay. And you don't have an onboard way to sacrifice anything, do you? <laughs> Correct. Cool. Anyways, here I come, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Shields are down. <laughs> you joke, but no, no. I'm not, <laughs> not. But I am. Actually, I'm, a, I'm actually going to attack Surge. Wait, oh. hold on. Yeah, that's fair. I have uh, tied with you for the most life. I'll take six. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's going to be big. Using path for a vampire. I'm going to cast Patron of the Vein. So, it's a 4-4 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls. And whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, exile it and put a plus one plus one counter on each vampire you control. So there's several different things that are happening right now. First, Path of Ancestry, I'm gonna scry. Oh, I like this part. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. I will leave that card on top. Uh-oh. Now, I would like to destroy the Ruthless Death Fang. So that gets exiled, and I put a counter on each of my Vampires. Also, because of the Bloodlord of Vasgoth, the patron gets Bloodthirst 3. So the patron is going to end up with four counters, and the Bloodlord is also going to go up to four counters. Could you pass me a die, please? Cameron has been neutralized. Graham is the threat. Commander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Commander to me. I think that is the extent of my turn. So go ahead, Ben. Uh, on your end step. Yeah. I'm going to flash in 
a favorite. Uh, it's your boy Rattle Chains. Oh! Uh, target spirit gets hexproof until end of turn. It's it. But all, more importantly, I can cast spirit spells as though they had flash. Oh! So I'm going to empty the last card from my hand. It's Remorseful Cleric. Mm. And go to untap. And on upkeep, oh. the midnight clock goes off, and I get to draw a fresh hand of seven. Heck cool. Yeah. So let's put <laughs> that stack in there. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Graham. Yeah. Can you cut my deck? Ooh. It's oh. been so long. Ooh. Yes. All right. Let's draw a fresh hand of seven. Ooh, that's a cool one. So you've got seven. You've got seven. I got four. One. Nice. <laughs> wait. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a planes for the turn. Mm -hmm. And... I would like to go to combat. Uh, I'm going to swing with a Remorseful Cleric and Rattle Chains at Cameron. Sure. Four damage. Can't do a thing about it. And I get to draw two cards off of Reconnaissance Mission. It's for each creature? For yeah. each creature. Wow. Then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't have to discard. I have exactly seven cards somehow. Count one more time. I swear there's two cards stuck together. Oh, already. there are. <laughs> <laughs> A mystery card. I was like, that doesn't add up. So I'm going to go ahead and play this <laughs> main step ghostly pilfer. And pass the turn. Which one's that really quick? Ghostly Pilfer is a 2-1 uh, that whenever it comes untapped, I can pay two. And if I do, uh, draw a card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. And I can discard a card, and it can't be blocked. Neat. All right. Go to you, man. OK. I will put this Path of Ancestry into play. Um, then I will cast this Soul Ring. Ooh. All right. Uh, then I will cast Overseer of the Damned. Seven mana, demon, flying. When Overseer of the Damned enters the battlefield, you may destroy target creature. Whenever a non-token creature an opponent controls dies, create a tap 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Uh, I will hit your Bloodlord of Vazgoth. That's tit fair. For, tit for tat here. Yep. Then I make a tapped zombie. I don't really think there's much I can do here. I could attack Ben. You know what? Let's let's just be timid here. Uh, I believe that's the best way to win. Um, no 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 attacks. Um, second main nothing. End step. Sacrifice this zombie token. Yep. Uh, I may draw a card. Mm -hmm. I have an end step effect as well. I'm going to pay three and remove a plus one plus one counter to make a one one spirit creature token with flying. All right. Go. Untap. Untap. Draw. Seven mana? Seven mana is such an unfortunate number of mana. If I had more or less mana, I'd be happier. But seven mana is just wrong. That's a weird stance to take, Serge. I wish I had more or less, because it's like I'm one short on what I want to do. If I had eight, I'd be happy. If I had six, I wouldn't be in this quandary. You would still need more mana. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, but I'm still unhappy about it. Your feelings are valid. Thank you. And wrong. Wait, hold on. Time out. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana is exactly the right amount of mana. Oh my god. Oh, it's so perfect. I get to cast my commander with the command tax. I'm casting Arcane Denial because after all of that, I you don't deserve it. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna need one more mana. Yeah, you sure will. <laughs> and you can you can ruminate on that quandary. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Lenore. It's not even a good Lenore. play. It's Lenore. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you can have the boot, Soulbinder. Hey, on the bright side, you get to draw two cards during Graham's upkeep, and uh, maybe you'll draw that land you need. That is kind of cool. Hold on. Uh, this is on cast anyway, so I still get to scry. Yeah, yeah, you still get to scry. <laughs> All right, I'll keep it on top. It's the man I need. 
Oh, wait, actually, and I get to draw a card because you cast your commander from the command zone, not your hand. Oh, cool! Yeah, Ghostly Pilfer is actually sick in Commander, I just realized. Whoa! You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> I never thought about that, yeah. All right, uh, pass Arcane Thingy triggers? Yeah, so you get to draw two cards, yep. and I get to draw a card. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Neither did Lenore. <laughs> <laughs> Lenore, however, might have. <laughs> All right, untap, and draw. Okay, tap. Four for a Falconrath Noble. Ah. Mm. And I yeah, used Path of Ancestry, so I'm going to scry. What is this? Oh, that's neat. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Let's leave it on top and see if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm also going to pay two. I'm going to cast Feed the Swarm Targeting Ghostly Pilferer. So it's destroy target creature enchantment and opponent controls you lose life equal to that permanence mana value. Yeah, that's going to happen. Uh, and all of the things sort of Do I get, I get a spider! I get a zombor. Ooh! So your demon gives you a zombie. Surge's curse gives him a spider. Your creature gets exiled. I lose two life. And then, hold on. Falconrath Noble drains Cameron for one, <gasps> and I gain a life. And a creature and opponent controlled died. And it also gets exiled from the ability of Patron of the Vein, too, which is kind of funny. And I get counters on my vampires. Cool. Everybody wins. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wins. Yeah, it's just 100% feel good. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Harder. There you go. Right, so combat. Oh god, you have a 9-9. Nine nine. I do. You have a 1-2 spider with reach. Oh, and a 1-1 one one flying spirit. So you chump have blockers. Yeah, you chump have blockers. annoying air chump blockers. Cameron has a... Oh, you do have a flyer. Yep, I have a 5-5. Five five. A 5-5. Five five. And you have nothing in play, but certainly you could have many spirits to flash in. So uh, I'll attack Cameron with Patron of the Vein. For nine. I take it. All right. Welcome to Commander. You're like, nine? Ah, whatever. Yeah, just barf up some teeth and be <laughs> like, is that all you got? Walk it off. <laughs> I realize I obviously missed this. D did you, you sacrificed a zombie at the end of your turn, right? Yes. Huh. I should, I'm not going to do it now. I should have put a counter on my Patron of the Vein. It's just whenever a creature an opponent controls dies. Wow. Wow, I need to be paying more attention to things. Sorry, everybody at home who will be annoyed at me for missing that. Ben, go ahead. Okay, but speaking of missing things, I definitely could have saved my ghostly pilfer, I realize now, because Rattle Chain says when a spirit enters, you can give another spirit hex Whoa! Uh, oh! But, uh, so I could have saved my ghostly pilfer. That's fine. I'm okay with just flashing a Geist of St. Trafton on EOT. I am uh, less okay with that. How do you feel about this search? Uh, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have counter spells. All I don't right, like it. All right, all right. He still needs to attack. He's less good in commander and stuff. I feel like everyone's kind of got the ground sort of situated right mm. now. Mm. All right, I'm gonna untap and draw. Whoa, you've got a cool hat. <laughs> Spirits on Innistrad. I mean, hats in Innistrad have a more iconic duo, right? Yeah. All right. It's cold. <laughs> Their mommy doesn't want them to be cold. Uh, I'm going to play this main phase Ethereal Investigator. He's got a very nice hat. What what does he do? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, just work, it's a hat, Focus Graham. on the hat, Graham. Focus on the fashion. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so when he enters the battlefield, uh, I investigate X times where X is the number of opponents I have. Oh, so three. Wow. What the? Wow. Yeah, he's very good at uh, finding clues, at least. I think that um, card will be good in Commander. Unfortunately, Wait. my deck is only good at producing one clue token. So I'm going to put a three on there. Uh, and also says, whenever I draw my second card each turn, I make a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token. Wow. Yeah. I want to draw a second card this turn. Um, you've got a reach friend. Cameron has a flying friend. So I'm going to go ahead and... And I will attack 
the one who will at least trade. I'm going to go Surge with both Rattle Chains and Remorseful Cleric. I'll just block Rattle Chains. Okay. With a spider. Right. I get a zombie. I get a spider. Right. <laughs> oh god, Graham gets... My, my vampires get bigger, and I have a Falcon Wrath trigger. Oh god. Two Falcon Wrath triggers. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, oh no. Ben, I'm going to point both those Falcon Wrath triggers at you. This was not worth it for a single card. <laughs> I was just like, we didn't think this through. I shouldn't have blocked. This is on me as well. And then two creatures died? Yeah, because my spider died. And... Yeah. Can you pass me another die, please? Oh god. Thanks. I really recommend you come over to the zombie side. <laughs> We have no strong feelings on anything. We don't think through our plays at all. It's just drawing cards and gratification. <laughs> it seems like a good place to be. I'm drawing a card off a reconnaissance mission trigger, which makes a spirit yep. off of Ethereal Investigator. And then I'm going to play a cool enchantment because Rattle Chains was old and busted. Breath of the Sleepless is where it's at. Uh, spirit spells uh, I have now have flash. Oh! And whenever I cast a creature spell during an opponent's turn, I can tap up to one target creature. Yo! Cool! Neat. Yeah, it seems all right. Uh, and I'm going to pass it to Cam. Have you ever had fewer than 19 creatures, Cameron? Like, your board just never seems to be getting any smaller. Uh, I mean, it's, it's fluctuated. This is six. Hey, look, if it's more than I can count on one hand, the number is meaningless. <laughs> Like seven. <laughs> no, how dare you? Well, speaking of which, um, you know what? I am just going to black, black, four, seven. Dread summons. Mm -hmm. Each player mills X cards. For each creature card put into a graveyard this way, you may create, you create, a tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. So it's equal to seven, you said? Yes. So I'll go first here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you hit three creatures from me. Okay. Uh, they are Sigarda's Vanguard, Heron's Grace Champion, and Victory's Envoy. And uh, okay. they get exiled or anything, or they're just in the graveyard? They're just in the graveyard. Neat. All right. One, all right. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Wow, big almost whiffs over here. We got one creature, which was the card I left on top, Blood Tracker. I think it's a new vampire. Mm. It's a 2-2 two -two vampire wizard for four mana with flying, and you can pay a black and pay two life to put a counter on it, and then when it dies, you draw a card equal to each counter that was on it. Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, we got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Uh, you hit three creatures. <laughs> okay. You got a Mentor of the Meek, Mirror Entity, and a Spectral Sailor. All right, then I mill seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hit one, Tomb Tyrant. Other zombies I control get plus one, plus one. Oh! <laughs> that guy seems like it would have been good. Oh. Oh, thank God. Dodge oh, that. It, it was all just worthless land. Remember what I was saying about the number of creatures he had, Ben? Surge. Hi. How do you feel about Falconrath Noble Triggers? Oh, bad. Good. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Time out. Plays in your court. I block one of them with this 4-4. Four -four. Very well. So I'll take, I'll take six. I make a Decayed Zombie. Yeah. Okay. How many things die here? So one. One, one creature died. What happens on Graham's board? Uh, I get a Falcon Wrath Noble trigger and a Patron of the Vein trigger. I will drain Ben for one, and my vampires get slightly bigger. Okay. Ben, do you have anything? No. Okay. I'm playing honest magic <laughs> over here. I consolidate my tokens down to one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice a zombie. Uh, sure. Let's go down to ten and draw a card. Everything that I just said happens again exactly the same way. You sure? <laughs> You're at 31. Yeah, that's fair. Bleed me dry, Dad. Now I'm back up to my starting life total. <laughs> oh, no. Ben, who's scarier, Graham or Cam? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. You have correctly identified the situation. Yeah. <laughs> I have one one. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to untap and then hopefully not die. I have a curse that hoses my deck. That doesn't hose your deck. 
Do, wait, does it hose your deck? Uh, I like to have things in the bin. Okay. I'm sorry, I slightly hosed you. In hindsight, maybe I should have hit Graham? He's in blue-white, so you might have enchantment removal. So, Cameron, jealous of your Sol Ring. I'm gonna make my own. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty benign. Resolves. What's wrong with mine? Ooh. I didn't even know you had one. Some people don't. Right, yeah. Flex it in front of them. Yeah, right? like turn three. Yeah. All right, so I have a Sol Ring. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cast this uh, Juniper Order Ranger. Mm. We're going, like, Cold Snap? We're talking old school magic cards here. Hmm. Yeah. Five mana, two, four, human knight, and I've cast Path of Ancestry, so we'll get that in a second. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature and a plus one plus one counter on the Juniper Order Ranger, which is very exciting. So now the problem is, and I'd love to query the table here. Oh, yeah. Do I leave up activated mana for the Custody Friend, mm. which lets me, you know, flash in a two, two spirit token and put a co counter on it? Or, while everyone's tapped out, do I move the boots over and leave myself with two mana and not worry about it too much? Maybe the scry will help me. Bottom. The scry doesn't help me. Honestly, I think holding up the mana for the Custody Soulbinders is probably, like, the, the smarter play. Maybe I'm not too worried about this dying. Like, it's just a big ground idiot of which it's not that scary on the board. Mm -hmm. I, think, yeah. I think there are bigger, bigger threats right now yeah. than my creature. Just, uh, you're just saying, you know, hypothetically. <laughs> Your cards have a lot of words on them. His cards have a lot of dice on them. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. my priority is like, it's really yeah. scary and it's all the way over there and I don't see it very clearly. So, <laughs> I could change these out for a d12 if you would rather fewer dice. Okay, good. If that makes it a little less frightening. Is that better or worse? It's the same level of intimidation. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm going to pass with the activated mana up. All right. I'm going to untap and draw and see what happens with my turn. That's a 13-13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite episode of Counting with Surge. <laughs> <laughs> So 13's a fine number, eh, Jaeger? <laughs> but 19. Yeah, 19, 14, seven. 7. I'm going to play a Temple of the False God. Mm. And I'm going to tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for a new legendary vampire that I am very excited to tell you is named Timothar. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. What? Roll that one back for me. T I M O T H A R. Timothar. Timothar. Yeah. Timothar. Timothar. <laughs> Timothar speaks of himself in the third person a lot. Oh, yeah. for sure. Timothar is a 4 4 vampire noble. Timothar does not fly. Timothar does have ward, and the ward cost is discard a card. More relevantly, Timothar says the following Whenever another non token vampire you control dies, you may pay one and exile it. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one bat creature token with flying. That token gains, when this creature deals combat damage to a player, sacrifice it and return the exiled card to the battlefield tapped. Uh, what? <laughs> That's so many words. It, if, if it helps to imagine, if you try to kill one of the vampires, it turns into a bat and flies away. And then if the bat hits you, then it turns back into the thing you tried to kill. Oh. Oh, bummer. But only if it hits you, which, as we've established, getting a 1-1 one, one through in the air in this game is yeah. <laughs> not really going to happen. Yeah. But I had to play Timothar. Timothar got his invitation to the wedding. He's been pre-gaming at Applebee's all afternoon. <laughs> Virgin Margs. <laughs> I mean, it's at that point where it's like, yes, I have this enormous scary creature, but do I have any good attacks with it? I Not... I'm on team Not always really. yes. If you don't if you don't keep just violently trying to press through, the walls are just gonna keep getting larger, you know what I mean? You're probably right. It's All like right. an axe, you just gotta start chop chopping down. Pick a direction. Alright, well let's I block. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, sure. I attack with Get him. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> So the spirit dies, so what happens? Does your curse go off for that? It said token. Okay. Yeah, non-token. All right, and you don't have anything that happens there. Yeah. Okay, but I do. 
So uh, all the vampires get incrementally larger. See, you had a very good attack, and I hate it. Yeah, all right, fair enough. And um, thank you for the advice. I will drain you for one with Falconrath Noble. You're welcome? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just do this now. I'm going to almost tap out. I will play Ancient Craving to draw three cards and lose three life. He's under a starting life total. We did it. <laughs> what are these? What? What? What are those? <laughs> what are these? This is some cards in here I've never seen before. Yeah, that's going to be the entirety of the turn. Go ahead, Ben. Okie doke. Uh, I'm going to untap and draw. I forgot to actually do the scry with Path of Ancestry. Oh. I would have left it on top. Okay. Having now drawn that card, I would have left it on top. So. Fantastic. We're fine. I'm going to play an island for the turn. What? It lands, man. <laughs> How do they work? <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go to combat and I block. Oh, is that how it works? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's how it worked last turn. I don't know if that's yeah, God, to my, anyone's benefit. My kingdom for some spot removal, eh? I'm going to swing your... Timothar doesn't have flying. No, mm -hmm. Timothar. That was Timothar saying it to himself. Yeah, Timothar doesn't have. Timothar flying. does not have flying. Uh, I'm gonna swing for four in the air at Graham. Okay. Um, and I should have done this pre combat, but I'm just gonna do it before blockers. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna swords uh, your noble. Oh. Ooh. And that swords is exile. Exile, and you gain life equal to its power. So oh, no. in this exchange, uh, you actually gain four in total. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, because I can't, because it's exile, so none of that, none of that happens. I can't, Timothar cannot save you. <laughs> All right. This doesn't seem like Timothar's job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I gain eight and then have no blockers. So I take four. So yeah. Yeah. I gain four overall and you draw two cards. I do. Not bad. The sadness when we all realized that cards like Falconrath, Noble, and Blood Artist only target one player. Oh man, they're not symmetrical? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be very different. You drew a second card for the turn too. I did, yeah. So I get a spirit friend. Oh, and a, a non-token creature and opponent control died. No, no right it now. exiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how come <laughs> I never get anything nice? <laughs> <laughs> how many zombies do you have? Less than 19. Is there any way to prove it's less than 19? <laughs> I don't know. The jury's still out on that one. In a technical sense, I have 13 zombies. All right, all right. Uh, I'm going to flash in Millicent, finally, for the first time. Ooh. Oh. Uh, and by flash, I mean play normally. Yeah. <laughs> so Millicent is uh, four cheaper, so it's going to be a four drop. So I will pay the required mana to do such a procedure. Bold. Yep. What does Millicent do? So when Millicent, Restless Revenant, or another non-token spirit I control dies or deals combat damage, so this would have probably been better to do pre-combat, uh, deals I get to make a 1-1 one -one spirit. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Yeah, so I, not, it's a 4-4 four -four flyer right, <laughs> right now, and I'm a say go. <laughs> okay. That's so many zombies. Uh, I also have to go to uh, clean up, so... I'm going to discard a planes because I'm land rich now. <laughs> mm. Me, 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 me. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Lord of the Accursed. Oh, yeah. Other oh, zombies I, I control get plus one, plus one. Oh, boy. And for uh, one and a black tap, all zombies gain menace until uh, end of turn. Well, at least you can't do it this turn. Yeah. You don't have haste zombie giving, do you? God. Do we crundle? Do we just shove into the red zone? With the uncountable horde? I mean, Graham's shields are down. You could probably knock Graham all the way down to 47, 48 <laughs> life this turn. I am only at 42 at present. A mere 42. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Uh, Graham. Yeah. Uh, 30 damage coming. No, uh, 36 damage coming your way. <laughs> that seems pretty good. <laughs> we... We 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 try not to 
We try not to swear on this channel, but I'm, I came very close. Timothar is not prepared for the <laughs> amount of zombies coming his way. This does not seem like Timothar's job. Timothar is going to stand in front of one of them zombies. They don't all have death touch or anything, do they? No. Okay. Uh, zombie or zombie? Decayed uh, zombie or vanilla zombie? If a, if a vanilla zombie dies, you get a decayed one? Yes. Okay. Well, I guess a decayed one then, because it's the same damage coming through. Okay. So I, I'm taking 11 times 3? Uh, yes. 33 damage. <laughs> cool! Oh my god! <laughs> you have eight. <laughs> oh, I should have... Oh! I had lethal! It's nine. No, nine. Really? Yeah. Oh, off by one. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not! He's a zombie! Bah! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Let this be a lesson to you. I spared you. Cameron the Merciful! <laughs> Timothar will remember this. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so in that exchange, a zombie creature died. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. My vampires get slightly larger. Oh, and then it, the decayed zombie dies after combat. At the beginning of my end step, I, oh, this one dies. Yeah. yeah. Um, at the end of combat. Okay, then I, at the end of my step, I am going to sacrifice a zombie to draw a card and lose a life. Just gonna make my vampires incrementally larger. I like to imagine that like while all these death triggers and stuff are happening, my board state is just going like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool! cool. Sick, like, everybody! Like, look at these idiots, oh my god. <laughs> no, great oh, job, everybody! All right, all right, this is fine. This is normal, this is excellent. I'm hip, I'm happening. We're gonna party, go! <laughs> Uh, you have a decayed one as well, because your one zombie comes back with decayed. Oh, it does! Thank you, Serge. And end step, I'm going to remove a plus one, plus one counter from this creature to make a spirit token, which comes into play with a plus one, plus one counter and puts a plus one, plus one counter. <laughs> See, it all worked out. <laughs> On the Juniper Order Ranger! Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. After all that hemming and hawing, no one paid any attention to Surge that entire turn cycle. Graham earmuffs. Okay. Do we just kill Graham here? Sure. It's not me, so I don't care, <laughs> personally. What's this wee business? Well, you did most of the work. Yeah, I did. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, we should kill Graham here. We should kill Graham? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, you get on your muff. Whoop. Hey. Come on back. So, as we know, mm -hmm. uh, Ben is uh, a, man, <laughs> a man of tremendous volume. Okay. All I heard. <laughs> Physically and vocally. I only heard, like, well, it's not me, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> So, I can't wait to find out what's about to happen to me. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm attacking you, Graham. Don't. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah, go wait, ahead. you're at nine. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can't kill you. Just letting everybody at the table know, I'm holding up Settle the Wreckage Mana. <laughs> Surge goaded me into attacking with my Patron of the Vein last turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now, and you took 33. Yeah. <laughs> You could have taken 31! Yeah, yeah, I feel like it was probably not related. There's but... one thing I've learned from drafting with Surge. Do not listen. Do not enter Surge's funhouse of mirrors. <laughs> Surge speaks lies, Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, am, I have decided to not follow through with my course of action. Oh, okay. And instead I will be casting Lenora. I'm gonna counterspell that. I'm just kidding. God! <laughs> like, no! <laughs> not again! All right, eight mana. I'm going to cast my commander, and it turns out my commander shares a creature type with my commander, so I'm going to scry with Path of Ancestry here. I love that. It like it makes sense, but it is kind of funny every time that I have to say like it shares yep. a type with itself. Uh, stay on top. I'm going to give it the booties. Mm -hmm. I would like to protect my commander, and my commander has the ability to put a plus one plus one counter on any. Wait, hold on. One, three, three, zero. Okay, I have Coven, so I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Uh, where would I put the plus one, plus one counter? Let's put it on the Custode Soulbinder. That I makes have, sense. Yeah, I've got this cool synergy. So, um, getting me pre-combat main phase, put a plus one, plus one counter, and then if I control three creatures with different power, draw a card, 
And I just realized as I was putting these plus one, plus one counters that I missed some plus one, plus one counters because the Juniper cares when a creature enters play. So my commander has a plus one, plus one counter. And then the Juniper Order Ranger has one. And I think it still works. Yeah, one, when you. One, two, four. I yeah. still have Coven. Yeah. Cool. Pass. All right. Untip, pity, tap, pity, and draw for the turn. So we find out that Graham's had some way to give his dude's lifelink this whole oh time. Oh my god, and yeah. That would be very good. Well, I think I've got to be in like knuckle down and try not to die mode on so. account of the very high probability that I die. <laughs> it's kind of just general life advice. <laughs> yeah. Just knuckle down and try not to die. All right, I'm going to tap two mana, one of which is with Path of Ancestry for a Cordial Vampire. Oh. Very polite. Oh. This dude's good. Whenever Cordial Vampire or another creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on each vampire you control. Woo! Let me just read that again. Whenever Cordial Vampire or another creature, not a vampire, not a creature I control, any creature. This is me reading that for the first time. I'm also going to play a... Blood Tithe Harvester. This is a new vampire from Crimson Vow. When it enters the battlefield, I create a blood token. Finally, a second blood token. And I can tap it. It doesn't have haste, but when I can tap it, if I live that long, I can tap it and sacrifice... Oh no, I don't even need to sacrifice them. I sacrifice the Blood Tithe Harvester, and target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is twice the number of blood tokens I control. Oh, hmm. neat! And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, exactly enough. I will play a Markov Enforcer, which is a 6-6 six, six vampire soldier. When it... Oh, wow, I really should have cast this in a different order now that I've read the card. Whenever it or another vampire enters the battlefield under your control, Markov Enforcer fights up to one target creature and opponent controls. Neat! Uh, okay, I'm going to... Well, if it fought too many fight, times, it would die. It would die, so. true. Yeah, all right. Well, anyway, I'm going to fight Cam's... It's a 5-5 five, five demon, right? Yeah. It's just a 5-5? Five, five? It is just a 5-5. Five, five. Cool, I'm going to fight the demon. Why am I fighting the demon? No, I fight Lord of the Accursed, so I don't just lose to Menace. Oh. That seems good. Yeah. <laughs> the demon's also scary, but yeah. So, whenever a creature dealt damage by Markov Enforcer this turn dies, create a blood token. So that happens, and then... Um, I need more dice. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here's more red and more black dice. He's the plus one, plus one counter deck. <laughs> Am I? I think. Is he? I do get a, uh, another decayed zombie cool. from the Lord of the Accursed Die. Nice. So, Patron of the Vein and Cordial Vampire are both putting counters on each vampire I control, so they all get two. Oh no. Whew. This deck has synergy. Yeah, holy moly. Way to go, Surge. <laughs> Should have killed, killed him. Also, relevant information for the rest of the table, being that Patron of the Vein is my only flyer, I'm going to pass the turn and not attack. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Ben. Okay, on your end step, uh, I'm going to sack a clue. Oh. And draw a card. And then I'm going to sack a clue and draw a card. Nice. Giving me a, another spirit from wow. a real instigator. Investigator. Uh, okay, I'm going to untap. All right, so I'm going to play an island for the turn. I'm less and, excited about it this time. And then I <laughs> would like to go to combat. All right. Uh, I am going to swing at... Oh, boy. <laughs> Cameron, the ghosts, and t Angel are coming at you. So, uh, at me? At you. Everything's at you. I block Millicent. Uh, I'm going to first make a angel uh, from one of these tokens. Right, Geist of St. Traft. Yeah. Is it, the, is it on the back of that clue? Yes. <laughs> right, <laughs> clue, you get to briefly be an angel. <laughs> uh, how much damage? Uh, so we've got 6, uh, 10, 12, 14. I block four of it by blocking Millicent. Okay. Um, With a 5-5. Five, because five. everything else flies, right? Yeah. Well, the Geist is on the ground. Oh, right. Um, then I'll block the Geist with um, Wilhelt. Okay. 
Uh, so we're going to have eight damage go through to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw three cards, and these two are going to die. Okay. That means I get two more zombies. And I get two spiders. <clears throat> Millicent is going to... I'm going to choose to put it into the... The command, command zone, zone yeah. so it doesn't actually get exiled. Um, and But Geist sure will. Oh my god, how many creatures died there? Two. Okay, right? so Graham gets four, four plus one plus one counters on all of your creatures? Wait, four? Oh, right. Oh no, hang on, I miscounted. Here, Graham, if you need more dice, here's some black ones. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to draw three cards yep. from Reconnaissance <clears throat> Mission. Uh, I have so many cards. <laughs> In hand. I have a bunch of mana. You have a bunch of things. Instead, let's stay here forever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. No wrath. No wrath. No wrath. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrath. My commander already <laughs> costs eight. Uh, but I need to make sure, because I think wrathing actually would be bad for us, because I think all of your bats, you get bats. I have right? to pay one mana for each of them. I, oh. can, I can only save one vampire. Cam would get decayed tokens equal to number of creatures he has dies. All right, so instead I'll do a different kind of wrath. Okay. I'm going to cast a Flood of Tears. Uh -huh. So I'm going to return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. And if I can, re if I return four or more, which I definitely will, be, <laughs> yeah. uh, then I get to put a permanent card from my hand onto the battlefield. Oh, cool. So let's... All right. Uh, I'm going to put Wilhelt in my hand. Yeah, I think my commander's cheaper in my hand than on the battlefield. <laughs> Before Sol Ring and Arcane Signet return to my hand, I'm going to float mana from them. Sounds good. Uh, so I get to put a permanent onto my hand, and I have a, a bunch of them. Um, let's go with uh, a Yobi who split the heavens, which is a 3-6 spirit, and whenever I cast a spirit or arcane spell, I make a 3-3 spirit with flying. Dang. Yeah, and... I'm going to probably cast a spirit. Um, like I, don't, I don't want to tell you how to play the game. Yeah. I would. Yeah, it seems like it'd be all right, yeah. I think. Soul ring. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then use my mighty soul ring mana to cast uh, this new friend who I actually have never seen before. I assume they're new. Drog Skull Reinforcements. So it has melee, which was a fun kind of mechanic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each opponent I attacked this combat. Uh, other spirits I control have melee, and I prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to spirits I control. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to get a spirit from a Yobi, and that will likely be my turn. I have some cleanup. <laughs> okay. Before you exit your main phase, yeah. your second main, I would like to tap one additional mana and play Shadowkin. Uh, Shadowkin is a four mana 2-2 two -two shapeshifter with flash. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player mills three cards. You may exile a creature card from among the cards milled this way. If you do, Shadowkin becomes a copy of that card, except it has this ability. Cool. Whoa, that card's really good. Neat. Each upkeep? Uh, my upkeep. Oh, okay, okay. That, that's about to happen. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so I have 14 cards in <laughs> hand, uh, so I'm going to discard three planes, the remorse, Remorseful Cleric, uh, the Reconnaissance Mission, uh, Benevolent Offering, and uh, I think this new dude, Priest of Blessed Graph. Uh, it's a 1-2, and at the beginning of my end step, I make X-1-1 one, one white spear tokens with flying, where X is the number of opponents who have more lands than you. Hmm. Seems like it'd be decent in a white deck, but I'm doing okay. All right. Okay. Uh, untap, upkeep. Each player mills three cards. You may exile a creature card from among the cards milled this way. Well, what order do you want to go in here? Uh, sure, let's talk about yours. Five mana, three, three, Sigardian Zealot. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose any number of creatures with different powers. Each of them gets plus X plus X and gains Vigilance, where X is equal to the Zealot's power. And I also have Machaeus the Lunark. I recommend not taking this one. It's a zero, zero. Mm -hmm. And then Hour of Reckoning is just in my graveyard. Over here, you hit a Swamp and a Sorcery called Imposing Grandeur and a creature, Crimson Honor Guard. 
It's a 4-5 Trample Vampire Knight. At the beginning of each player's end step, Crimson Honor Guard deals 4 damage to that player unless they control a commander. What? Oh, cool. Oh, no. That's... Okay, following a wrath. All right. Okay, at the beginning of each player's... Each oh. player's end step. It deals 4 damage to them. To that player, unless they control okay. the commander. I have two planes and an exotic orchard. Ooh, exotic. Very lucky. I have Gisa and Garolf. Ooh. When Gisa and Garolf enters the battlefield, mill four cards. Um, Shadowkin is not entering the battlefield mm. if I take this. During each of your turns, you may cast a zombie creature spell from my graveyard. Oh, dang. I think they will enter as Gisa and Garolf. That's fair. Okay, draw a card for the turn. <laughs> Good poker face, Cameron. <laughs> did they did they put Crater Hoof Behemoth in the blue black deck by accident? <laughs> okay. First off, I am going to cast Well Soul Ring. Mm. Uh Arcane Sijnet. <laughs> You really see the gears grinding together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You smell the smoke. Mm -hmm. um, tap Path of Ancestry for black, and then two generic. Diagraph Colossus mm. uh, shares a creature type with my commander, so I scry one. <laughs> On atop the library. <laughs> atop. You place it atop the library. Uh, Diagraph Colossus enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each zombie card in my graveyard. Last Holy I checked, no. it was five, because one... Most of the zombies have been tokens. Right, or exiled. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Mm. Uh, whenever I cast a zombie spell, create a tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Um, I would like to cast a zombie from my graveyard. Wait, what? Oh, what, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have... What did you bring back from Gisa and Gerald? I brought back Gleaming Overseer. Oh, boy. Gleaming Overseer enters the battlefield. A mass one. Uh, oh, here. Oh, thank you very much. And you cast a zombie spell. Yes, so I make a zombie token. Uh, zombie tokens I control have hexproof and menace. Amazing. Graham, I would like to attack you with Gisa and Gerald for four. How big? They're four? Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm completely tapped out. I got nothing. I go to five. All right. All right. This is fine. Uh, and then it is time to move to cleanup step, where I will have four, three. I need to discard two. I'm going to discard, open the graves, and or curse of the restless dead. Cool. Uh, the time for them has long since passed. Yo. I'm sure my turn will be equally as good as Ben and Cameron's. Mine won't be. <laughs> oh, neat. Let's start us off here. Uh, Sol Ring, Arcane Signet, fairly familiar by this point. I don't have either of those. Oh, you should really try their great cards. They're super good. Yeah, yeah you should be running those. Yeah. I have a Charcoal Diamond, which enters tapped. I have a Charcoal Diamond, too. I usually just refer to it as Charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my drawing kit. Ah. It'll be a diamond some... No, wait. All diamonds will be charcoal someday. Oh. They're thermodynamically unstable. Diamonds are not forever. Love, it's thermodynamically unstable. <laughs> Let's cast my commander here. Commander shares a creature type with my commander, so Path of Ancestry lets me scry. This to the bottom. And then I've got two manas, so I'm going to tap green, green here. And I'm going to cast a... Kerbis, Harvest Celebrant. Now, this is an X green green zero zero legendary tree folk. Whoa. This is not a human deck. This must be the plus one plus one counter deck yeah, or something. It's, like. the, it's the coven deck. It's yeah. The, yeah. It's the, the fey folk of the woods. Yeah. So it enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the amount of mana I spent, which okay. is two, right. which is kind of cool because it's not. It doesn't count the X. Mm -hmm. and then I may remove a plus one plus one counter from Kerbis to prevent all damage that would be dealt this turn to another target creature with a plus one plus one counter on it. Pre-combat main phase, I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on Lenora. 
I really like the wording on Kerbis too, because with the way that it is, is if you do play it as your commander with commander text, it comes in with more counters. It just gets bigger every time. It yeah. just it's a gets big thing. Super swole. And then I'm going to go to clean up. And I'm going to discard. You're going to be sad about this, Ben. I'm going to discard the curse of clinging webs. Oh. And this uh, life crafter's bestiary. You know, it had been with me for so long. I kind of grew attached to kinda never missing. having creatures in my graveyard. <laughs> Kind of got attached to Surge having all these spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. All right. Untap. Draw. I'm going to play a mountain. Well, I'll start off by playing my charcoal diamond. Welcome back. Yep. Or is it kinetically unstable? <laughs> I'm going to play a cordial vampire. Mm. And uh -oh. I'm going to tap the rest of my stuff for the Patron of the Vein. Hey, it's back. And Patron of the Vein is going to destroy something. Oh, no. But I don't know what. I don't see how I live through this turn cycle anyway. So... I won't attack you if you leave Ayobi alone. I won't attack you either if you... Kill Surge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I like that. Good plan. I'm completely harmless, and hurting me doesn't affect the outcome of this game in any way. <laughs> but it delays your fate. <laughs> what does, what's Kerbis actually say? You, you, you just remove a counter? Yeah, it doesn't give it indestructible. It just prevents all combat damage. Okay. So I am, I have a 1-5 and a 2-2. Two, two. I truthfully don't think those are the scariest no, creatures on the board. No, I don't, I don't think killing either of these is going to impact the board at all. No, I think it's, I th it's, it's got to be either Iobi or, uh, Diagraph Colossus? Which is the scarier of Cameron's creatures? So the problem is, if you kill the Diagraph Colossus, it can get cast back with the other creature. But the other right. creature doesn't really in inherently be that scary by itself. Like, there's, mm -hmm. some, there's some redundancy with the zombie deck. Just that Ben's got seven cards in hand, and yeah. anytime he plays a spirit, he also gets a 3-3 spirit. Yeah. Ben also has the most life. Oh, wow. By quite a significant margin. Ben has more life than you and I combined. That's exciting. I'm going to kill Iobi. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. And both of these creatures get a plus one, plus one counter on them. Wait, they get two plus one, plus one counters on them because they both do the thing. Seems good. Thrilling turns. Go ahead. I will kill you now. That's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> you you have slighted me. How dare you? Yeah. yeah. How I'm going to do that? Well, <laughs> let's find out together. You have lethal on board. I can block. No. no. I can't kill you. That's true. Well, te technically you have the creatures on board. Uh, all right. Well, Nelly is not here. Yeah. yeah. You ever just think about Nelly? Sometimes. Uh, I'm going to play Breath of the Sleepless, uh, which is the one that lets me uh, flash in friendos, as well as uh, when I cast a creature that not on my turn, I can tap uh, a creature. And... That's gonna be May. Uh, it's gonna be May. I don't really feel like I can. I, I think I need to hold up blockers to to be completely honest uh, at this point. So we're, I'm gonna let Cameron get back into the game. I don't disagree with you, but you're at thirty. Yeah, but you were at forty two at one point too, Graham. <laughs> Yeah, those were good days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think one blocker would have made a huge difference because Cam went wide, not tall. You ever just think about when I was at 42? <laughs> yeah, and then I think about how you were at 9. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that part as much. I like the current days much better. <laughs> All right, untap, mm. upkeep, everyone mill three. I'll start since I have priority. All right. Army of the Damned. Oh. Island. Commander's Sphere. I can no see hits. why you atopped that. Yes. Atop the graveyard. Land. Ruinous Intrusion is an instant, and an Angel of Glory's Rise. When it enters the battlefield, exile all zombies, and then return all human cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> wow, that would have been really why spicy. Is it that well, would have luckily, been... it's in my graveyard. Oh! <laughs> when it so enters neat. the battlefield? Yeah. 
Do you have like? Do we have like others? Because if that's just this, there to screw the zombie down, I don't know like, why it's there. What a hoser! Spooky. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> these were these were these are the two midnight hunt decks, right? Yeah. So if you took those head to head, you got this like <laughs> massive release valve. Mm. All right. I've got a blood artist, a sanctum seeker, and a myriad landscape. So blood artist, you know, you know blood artist, Cameron. Sanctum Seeker is whenever a vampire you control attacks, each opponent oh, loses one life and you gain one life. That would be spicy. Do but it's I gone now. Do I actually want to turn it into a blood artist? I've got an island. Dovin Grand Arbiter. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, and Verity Circle. <laughs> well, there's just a brief Ravnica patch hanging oh. out here. Uh, uh, I think I might actually want Blood Artist. I knew Cameron wouldn't be able to resist the siren call of the Blood Artist. Do because they stay it's... in exile after you take them? Okay. Yep. All creature cards are exiled. Um, or no, I may exile a creature card from among them. Uh, okay. So Geese and Geralt are exiled. Then I draw a card for the turn. The hell is... <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Overseer of the Damned. Oh, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome back. I am going to blow away the patron of the vein. That makes sense. Does it get exiled or what happens to uh, it? No, it just... I create a zombie. All right. Blood Artist Trigger. Blood Artist Trigger. This one has Summoning Sickness. Uh, I drain Ben for one. You got it. My Cordial Vampire gets slightly larger. Are you going to combat? I would like to go to combat, yes. I got nothing. I'm tapped out. Okay. So I'm, I'm going wait. to Ben's thinking. flash in Ethereal uh, Investigator. Okay. Uh, trigger for Breath of uh, the Sleepless. I'm going to tap down your big, scary Diagraph Colossus. Okay. Uh, and I get to investigate three times, because I still have three opponents. But for how long? Yeah. <laughs> You're all still here. Well, like keeping, yeah, keeping that 9-9 nine, nine tap down does keep more people in the game for longer, that's for sure. Graham, yeah. I attack you for three. So it's They a, have menace. menace. Oh, they have menace. They, yeah. all, they all have menace now? Uh, no, the tokens have Menace and Hexproof from Gleaming Overseer. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I can't block that, so I take three. Okay. I'm at two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Short one minute again. <laughs> Always is. God! Yeah. You never give that man's enough mana. No. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like me. <laughs> Nobody in the history. Yeah. All right. Uh, five manas. I'm going to cast Juniper Order Ranger. Four manas. I'm going to cast this Custody Soulbinder. So when this enters play, uh, this gets a plus one, plus one. Oh, sorry. Let's do this one first. This is going to enter play with a plus one, plus one counter for every creature on the battlefield right now. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excuse me? Cool. So I have a 15-15. And then Juniper Order Ranger says whenever another creature enters play, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and the creature that entered play. Then pre-combat main phase, I get to put a plus one, plus one counter somewhere. Uh, one, two, three, sixteen. Uh, so these are different numbers. <laughs> they sure are. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and make this one even larger. And that means I get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all pre-combat main phase, so I can still attack if I want to. Neat. And do I want to attack? Maybe if I had made my plus one, plus ones different? What do you have, Ben? I have a two, three, a three, three, and a two, two. The creatures I have that can attack are a 1-5 and a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I will not be attacking. God, if I attack Graham, he's just dead. Yeah. Like, literally just dead. But you have a 1. It's a 1-5? But if I attack with this, if you block it, you die. Oh, no, you go to 1. If I attack with both, you just die. If you swing with everything at Graham, he dies. Yeah, I attack with these two. I'm sorry, Graham. Okay. Wait, how does this work? So I attack with both. Uh-huh. So, then, but that's a 1-5. Yes. You put the counter on the other thing? I put the counter over here. 
So I have a 1-5 and I have a 2-2. Two, two. Uh -huh. If you block the 2-2 two, two and it dies, the Blood Artist kills you. Oh, right. It, if, if, if Cam targets me with that ability. Oh, right. Right. That is, that is, of course, assuming that Cameron decides to take the finishing blow. So, yeah. yeah well, gonna... As we discussed several turns ago, Serge. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, it all came together, finally. The grand scheme. It just took a longer time to get there. When you agreed to a certain course of action. I attack Graham. I block Kerbis. Ping Surge for one. Wait, no! The betrayal! All right, Graham takes one. My creature is dead. I get another zombie from Diagraph Colossus. Mm -hmm. Cameron, you are the chosen one. I think Cameron is positioning himself to be the chosen one. The choosing one. Keeping me alive is just more annoying for you two. Is it? I have a blood artist. I mean, it is if I just do this a bunch. That's fair. That's fair. You couldn't <laughs> no. do that if you were dead. No. It's weird. It's your turn. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> Draw. We Let's had swap. an agreement. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Pray that I don't alter it further. We didn't have an agreement. You were just like, hold on. If I do this and Cameron does this, then you die. There's no such agreement. I feel like you alluded that you would do it. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, for a Markov Enforcer. Oh, fight time. Yeah. Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight the big flying demon? Um, if you kill those creatures, you might just die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah, don't submit to yeah. the tyranny. Okay, uh, Overseer of the Dam dies. Yeah. Uh, Ping Graham. All right. There we go. Yeah. All right. GG, I think my this friend. blood artist disappears now. No, because yeah. it's a copy. You, oh, you, copy. You yeah. exiled it, and that creature right. is a copy Becomes of Becomes a copy artist. of it. Mm. Okay. I respect this because I think the last Commander game, I was in the same position as you, and Surge was the one who had me, and so and you don't you don't respect the tyranny. I could have. I mean, I could have targeted any other creatures, yep. and then Cam might not yeah, have yeah, targeted yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. But yeah. All, all right. G G G G G to you all. <laughs> Good game. G G G. Uh, on. Graham's death step. Can I crack the clue before it gets over here? Sure. sure. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm going to do that and draw a card. I don't actually know how that works. Yeah, I'm a little loose on the rules of Commander, but we can make Let's it work. Let's say I did it in response yeah, to Yeah, you're the like, pain. wait, in response to Graham about to die, I'm a clue. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> all right, uh, untap, draw for the turn. Uh, oh, that's a cool one. Hmm. I'm going to play an island. Oh, can I get my life? Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, one life. I'm a level with you, Serge. Mm. Uh, I'm, I, I have a lot of cards and stuff. I don't have a ton to do. Sure. So I kind of feel like I gotta kill, we gotta kill. Cameron? Cameron. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. He is certainly threatening than you and I combined. I do have a 1717. This is kind of scary. Yeah. But any yeah. number of zombies blocks it. First off, uh, play a uh, commander sphere, mm. um, and then, hmm, I think I'm gonna go ahead. How much? So it's three less. So it's technically one less on Millicent. So it costs me six mana mm. to play them. That's a lot of mana, but I would get more spirits. Sure, I'm going to. Spend six mana uh, to play Millicent. All right, uh, so I'm going to go in and attack uh, Cameron. Melee's going to trigger, so they're each going to get plus one, plus one, since I'm just attacking you. So seven coming your way. No blocks. Wow. Okay. Uh, so Cameron's going to take seven, and I get two spirits from Millicent. And then second main, I'm going to pass... No. <laughs> I'm going to pass? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> uh, second main, I'm actually going to uh, tap for two, and I'm going to play Dark Steel Mutation on your uh, Shadow Kin, or I guess your 
Blood Artist. It is now a 1-2 indestructible insect. Uh, loses all abilities, types, and creature types. Okay. Uh, and pass the turn. They printed that in the Strixhaven Commander deck, too. Right. That that card really got me, didn't yep. it? Oh, right. You put it on the, the giant XX, right? Yeah. You're like, I'm going to get huge. And we're like, no! Yeah, wait. <laughs> okay. I am going to cast... Will Helt from my hand. Oh, yeah. For four mana. Mm -hmm. um, he shares a creature type with himself. So Path of Ancestry hits. Um, that's fine where it is. Then I'm going to cast Liliana, Death's Majesty. Oh, what? Uh, red die, please. <laughs> you got Lily and I got Dovin? <laughs> Man, Look, my deck is very weak overall, okay, Ben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm watching you play today, that's my thought as well. It's like, yeah. man, yeah, zombies. Right. Super underpowered. <laughs> okay, let's minus three Liliana to bring back Overseer of the Damned. I am so sick of this Overseer. They never got exiled or anything? It's still here, baby. Oh my god, okay. I hit your, the, the thing that gives things melee. Sure. Drug score reinforcements is dead. I get a zombie. Uh, I get a spirit from Millicent. Let's see, we're holding down the ground fairly effectively over here. So, uh, Ben, yep. I'm going to attack you with three zombies. They have Hexproof and Menace. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to take six. Okay. And then I am going to, at my end step, sacrifice one of the zombies mm. to make another worse zombie. And draw a card. Seems good. Say go. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. Oh. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I do anything yet? I'm going to cast the Herald of War. So Herald of War is a 5 and a 3-3 three, three angel. Whenever it attacks, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. And an angels and humans get one less generic to cast for each plus one plus one counter on Herald of War. Mm. When it enters play, uh, Juniper Order Ranger gets a plus one plus one counter, and so does the Herald. So now my angels and humans get a discount. Mm. Uh, and I just drew a pretty good human, which I can cast for four, which is the Kessig Cage Breaker. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, so it's a five mana three four, but it only costs four because I have one counter on this. Um, whenever it attacks, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token that's tapped and attacking for each creature card in my graveyard. So there's been mm. a fair amount of milling. Yeah. So plus one, plus one counter here. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter here. Uh, one, five, four, four, fifteen. Let's go to um, the Coven step, which is pre-combat main phase. Going to put another plus one, plus one counter on Herald of War, which means I get to draw a card. Um, I will uphold my end of the bargain of trying to pressure Cameron a little bit here. If I attack with a 17-17, is there any chance of it dying? Yeah. 7, 8, um, 13, 15, 16, 19. 19. I will, I will send it in. There's a very large creature your way. I'll block with the zombie army. That's fair. All right. Uh, you could block with the uh, the indestructible oh, yeah, actually. that I gave you. Oh god, it's in the Yeah, I'll, I'll right. block with the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dark steel mutation. I got got. All right. I've helped both sides of the war. <laughs> Ping. All right. Right. Yeah, I was thinking like, okay. I have an error. Yeah. I can't help. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me play this uh, this blighted woodland as my land for the turn and then I'll pass. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to untap and draw for the turn. What are you? Oh, that's kind of neat. So interestingly, I am one, if I flunged at Cam, I'm one point off of killing him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got to think about how I'm going to do this. Uh, do it. I think I'm going to float a blue. Uh, actually, float a white, we'll say. Uh, and then crack Command Sphere to draw a card. Oh! Oh. oh, that's a cool one, actually. Hey, uh, so I have white, uh, and I'm going to add another white, and three. 
Uh, yo, Karmic Guide is in my deck. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh you get the melee card back! I'm gonna get the melee oh card my God. back. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my Drog Skull Reinforcements back. Karmic Guide? Karmic Guide is in this deck. Huh. Pro yeah. Black, huh? Pro Black, yeah. <laughs> so you've got a kill all zombies card. I've yeah. got a pro half your deck sure. card. Sure, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to combat mm. and I'm going to swing with the spirits. I think like this at. Uh, Cam, and then if I go like this with Millicent at Surge, I think that should kill, because you would block this. Everything's getting plus two, plus two, so three. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, I guess I don't even need, you've only got the one flyer, flying right? blocker. Okay, I'm going to attack like this. I'm going to have 14 going at Cameron, and I'm going to have, uh, it looks like, five, 11 going at Surge. In the air, I block the in, the ethereal investigator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. um, can I block the one one in the air? Oh, you've got a flyer. Yeah, I have a five five angel. Uh, so oh, I can, okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll block the one one token and I'll take. There's six, no one one. This is a three three. Oh, sorry. So it's actually it's a five five and a six six. It's a five five. Yeah, I'm getting plus two plus two. Oh, it's a three three and it gets larger. Oh yeah, no, I'll just take eleven. Okay. And Cameron's dead. Yeah, I take nine. Wow. All and right. your creature's dead, and you have an attack trigger with your commander. I have it? I have a uh, damage trigger, so uh, and a dying trigger, so I'm going to get two spirits. Okay. Out of this. GG Cam, join me in the nega zone. Hey. I pass. All right. Untap. Untap. Draw step. All right. Before anything gets too scary, I have return to dust. Uh, oh, that's targeting your your flash thing. So I want to see everything above board. So you get to cast two. Do uh, you have a, do you have a second target? Uh, my clue tokens. I think it can destroy artifact or enchantment. Yes. I'll also do that. Okay. In response to that, then I should probably use it now. Mm. Uh, I'm going to flash in. I thought this is the split second one. I was like, I got him! <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like, no, it's not, it's not split second, Surge. I'm going to flash in uh, Sire of the Storm which is a 3-3 three, three flyer, and whenever I cast a spirit or arcane spell, I draw a card. Okay. Uh, okay, so Breath of the Sleep. Oh, and I'm going to tap down your, uh, probably your giant guy. You have a tap down effect? Breath of the Sleepless whenever I play a, a, a creature. Ah, because you got in response. All right, my giant guy is tapped. Yeah. All right, so this is going to go, and I lose a clue. All right, well, let's go ahead and just swing out here. So we're going to go to combat step, and I'm going to put another plus one, plus one counter on Herald of War. All right, now this is going to get sweet. Um, Kessig Cage Breaker Attack Trigger. Okay. I'm going to make a 3-3 three, three attacking wolf token for every creature in my graveyard. Yeah. Let's find out how many that is. Holy moly. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So eight creatures are going to enter play. Okay. Um, Juniper Order Ranger. Each one of them gets a plus one plus one counter, oh. and I get eight plus one plus one counters on the Juniper Order Ranger. Okay. And that's why they're three threes. Yeah. I just, I cannot believe I gave Surge this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cameron. <laughs> I gave Surge the game. I win! No, hold on. Oh, no! All right, we're going to figure out some yeah, math. I'm yeah, at 23. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so, uh, so you have how many wolves? You just made a single I, wolf eight. token. I have eight wolf tokens. They're all three threes. Okay, so, it, and you have a one four, a one... So I have a 1-4, this is a 15-19, this is a 4-5, and this is a 6-6 six, six flyer. If I were to put three dudes, or five dudes, in front of your five strongest things, what does that put me at, let's say? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five would mean I have six, that's 18 damage, 19 damage. So I would take 19. You would take 19. Do I die on the crackback? Probably. Maybe. I'm at 12. 12 is bad. 
All right. What are the actual blockers so we can do that properly? Sure. Uh, so we'll say a 1-1, one, one, and the 1-1s one, are going to get in front of this. The two biggest things. The two biggest things, yeah. All right. Sire of the Storm is going to get under a wolf, which is a 3-3 three, three as well. Yeah, the wolves are all 3-3s. Three, uh, and I guess we'll do Drog Skull in front of your Kessig's Cage Breaker and Karmic Guide in front of one of your other wolves. Okay. So none of my creatures die. And then you take, what did we say, 19? 19. Yeah, so you go, go to four. 4. All right. You're not out of this yet, Jaeger. Second main. All right, here's your stuff back. And then uh, you get some triggers when I your do. stuff dies, right? Yeah, so I'm going to get three 1-1s. One You're going to get three 1-1s. One okay. All right, I have a 7 there. Okay. So I have access to some stuff still. I have access to, I tap like an idiot. Why did I tap like this? Because you thought you had me. I did. Your I greed did. led you astray. I did. I should have used my. I should have used my sol ring here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like who casts return to dust and doesn't use their sol ring for the two that's there? That's Sir Jaeger. Sir Jaeger. Objectively. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Um, so a green and a white, and I have three counters on Herald of War. So angels are cheaper. I'm going to cast Sigarda. Ooh. So I and humans I control have Hexproof, and I can also pay two to exile cards from my graveyard. One mana, I'm going to cast Heronblade Exile. This is a 3-1 Vigilance. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under my control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And I can also tap it to add X for my power. Also, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Plus one. Pass, I'm scared. Okay, so you currently have one thing that can block flyers. Uh, two. I haven't activated it. No, one thing that can block flyers. All right. Yeah, the activated ability makes a 1-1. One, one. It doesn't make flyers. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were just like halfway through the sentence discovering that you had a gotcha on no, board no, 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 and no, no, decided, no, no. ah, maybe I'll hold on. <laughs> uh, I am untapping everything and drawing for the turn. So I don't think I quite have lethal because if you block my strongest thing, then that's... Nine, that's nine getting three, so you'd live with three. So somehow, I need to get through to these kids. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm going to play Occult Epiphany. I think we remember this one from the earlier stages. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, X is going to be equal to five. So I'm going to draw five, discard five. Yeah, okay. You're like, find an answer. Yep. So, all right, uh, so I need to discard uh, five cards. So I'm going to discard a temple, this Kami of the Crescent Moon, an island, a path of ancestry, and a uh, Twilight Drover. Okay. So I'm going to make uh, two spirits yeah. from that. Now, I don't have a way to kill your thing. Okay, okay. Uh, but I am still going to that. I'm, I'm going to attack you with everything. Oh! So this oh. is uh, six one ones, yeah. a three three, and a four four. I will block your commander with this five six angel. Okay, it'll die. And you go. Sorry, you take which nine. will die? My creature, or your creature. My, okay. my, my creature will die. I take nine. You take nine. I go to three. Uh, and I'm going to get another spirit, uh, which I'm now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm now representing with this. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to cast Fell the Mighty, uh, destroy all creatures with power greater than target creature's power. I'm going to pick my 1-1 one, one spirit. Whoa. Uh, Your commander lives. Oh, oh, no. You have three untapped creatures. I have three untapped 1-1s. One, four. Did, what, did, just Wrath? It's Wrath, but... Not for anything with power one or less. Um, okay. Oh, crap. Even if I try and make a 1-1 one, one spirit token because of my stupid Juniper Origin Ranger, no. they're all two drops. <laughs> I can't even do anything. You curse me. Okay. Ass. <laughs> the objective of the game is to win the game. Yeah. God, if I had tapped differently, I have in my hand a three mana instant. All creatures you control with plus one plus one counters are indestructible. Oh, well, that would have been really good. I only have colorless mana untapped. Uh, no. Now, if life was made out of should have <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm not out of it yet. I'm not out of it yet. I'm not out of it yet. I lose one spirit. 
Uh, and that's going to be me. I'll, uh, I will pass it back to you with my army of one ones. You have an army of one ones. You have an army of one ones. Okay. <clears throat> I have wow. one more draw. You have three one ones. All I need to do is do four damage. Is it like lightning helix, but white and green? Whitening helix, like four, yeah. new, like, four damage, yeah. Punching helix. All you need to do is sun lance the dome. <laughs> yeah. That's not even enough damage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey now, hey now, I know, hey now. I know. Okay. you got a lot of spells. I do have a lot of spells. And you know what, my friend? Can two play at this game? How does that math work? One, two, three. Two can play at this game. <clears throat> I'd love to know how. Three mana. Uh, creatures with plus one, plus one counters are indestructible. Okay. Oh, you, you, you draw a card off that, too. Yeah, you would have drawn so many cards. Cleansing Nova, destroy all creatures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Coven, give it a plus one, plus one counter. Attack you for two. I, I, <laughs> I go down to two. And I play this rogue's passage that I drew off it. Oh, my God. Oh, go. Okay, okay. Uh, I am going to untap and draw. <laughs> <laughs> your mic's falling off. Then your, mic, your mic's falling off. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> Okay, so Cameron's broken. We're gonna fight through it, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I am going to... <laughs> We've absolutely lost Cameron. I'm gonna play Rhoda. Okay, all right. Uh, Geist Adventure. Yeah. Sure. Okay, it has partner with Timon. Oh, right. Oh, he's I, still in the deck. I think Timon's still in the deck. Did Timon get exiled? Yes. No, he's good. All right, okay, Timon's okay, in there. Okay, okay. I'm coming for you, Timon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There he is. Okay, Timmons right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I am going to play Timmon. Yeah. All right. So Timmon says, uh, chill, dude. Yeah. All right. Timmon, uh, at the beginning of each combat, tap up to one target creature. Okay. I understand. Yeah. So I'm going to tap that. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's not actually, it's not becoming a tap, so Rhoda doesn't trigger. Yeah. I pass the turn. All right, untap, 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 draw the card, play a land, before combat, I think I've got this, before combat, four mana, Path of Ancestry, can't be blocked. Yeah, Rogue's Passage. Rogue's Passage, can't be blocked. Okay. Swift Foot Boots. Equipped Swift Foot Boots, has Shroud, and it has Hexproof and Haste. I had a spell that I could have flashbacked my path, and I was like, this seems way cooler. Good game, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, wow. my God. Peeling the Wrath and the Rogue's Passage. <laughs> Off a misplay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What a game of Commander. That oh, was good. Oh boy, oh boy. These decks are fun. These decks are very fun. Thank you for joining us, everybody. <laughs> Cam, do you have some other thoughts? Just for the record, uh, you have Angel of Glory's Rise. You have uh, Karmic Guide. I do have Zombie Apocalypse, which kills all humans. Oh! So, okay. Right, so there right, is a balancing right. effect. I haven't checked. Come on. Where's the one that kills all islands? Do I, do I have that <laughs> one? Do I? Huh? No? Do I, I haven't looked. Maybe there's something totally busted in here as well. I mean, we got to hope. Anyway, these decks are sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that was super fun. Uh, hopefully we can do uh, more stuff like this for you in the future. Oh, my goodness. Hey, if you're not following the YouTube channel, give us, give us a follow. Everything we do is brought to you by you and your support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. And uh, yeah, that's that's been Ben and Cameron and Serge and uh, myself, Graham and Paul is running tech. And thanks everybody for joining us. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.